Are we, we are. live? Yeah. We live. are live. We uh oh. Is this our first tea time back? <gasps> this is our first tea, tea time, time back, back together in a <laughs> minute. <laughs> Wait, is that a knock? Or was that you? Was that your Let's nail? Let's wait till we hear it again. Was that your nail? I don't know. Okay. Guys, guys waiting I'm hungry. for food. Oh. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. We have the handy dandy iPad because we are doing tea time today. Thank you. No, we're not promoting anything. No, this is actually like one of the first Thursdays where we're actually back together in the same place at the same time. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. <laughs> We are ready for the night. Okay, are we going? Are we getting right into it? Because I've been, I want to do. I want to get back into this. Yes. Too. So y'all have sent us some emails. Okay. And we are gonna get right into the tea while we enjoy this amazing Ethiopian food. Who's reading the first one? You, cause I gotta get a few bites in. Okay. But first of all, hello everyone. We happy to see you again. we back. Yes, we are going to be at Howard tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We are... Mm. Blindfold. Oh. Have fun. Feed him, Jennifer. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got to pick one, pick one. Pick okay. One. Okay. Pick one. What about this one? This one? Okay, this is good. Okay. So who's reading it? You. Okay. This, I can't believe, this is weird, right? Okay, okay. This is literally the first Thursday we've been together and doing a tea time in a long time. Because we've been together, but let's not fall on a Thursday where we're both, like, half time. So, we're excited. Okay. Hey. Here we go. Hey, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Hey, Chloe and Hallie, I love y'all, OMG. Anyways, this is about my ex-boyfriend. By the way, it's sub, it, the title is The Help Is Gone. Anyways, this is about my ex-boyfriend. He is an incredible handyman and mechanic, which is super useful and a huge money saver, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we broke up long ago, to be honest, but we had this thing where he'd do work for me and I'd return the favor afterwards. Wink, wink. Return the favor? Sexually. Oh. Well, he has a girlfriend now, and I'm not going to lie. We still kept that thing going where he'd do a job for me, and we had sex afterwards. After he has a girlfriend? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so he's cheating. And yes. she's the mistress. Yeah. Well, right? That's yeah. what go back. We'll Roll we, back. Well, he has a girlfriend now, and I'm not going to lie. We still kept that thing going where he'd do a job for me, and we had sex afterwards. Even though he's in a relationship. Well, we got in a fight recently and I kicked him out of my place because he was annoying me. But I find myself wanting to make up with him because I love having him fix or assemble things for me for free. She probably so breaking stuff in her house for him and to And hell, fix. I like the sex afterwards too. I know it's not right, but we had a good thing going and I wish I had him right now to check my car before my road trip. And check, check on something car. else. Mm -mm. Any advice for me from Broco? Brooke, you did wrong. You did wrong, Brooke. What do you <laughs> no, what do you honestly think? Honestly? That looks so good. If have some, I'm gonna get some. If they were together and they're exes. He's he's really the main one in the wrong because but he's an incredible handyman and mechanic. Handyman. Handyman. I mean, the hand, thing is, hands going well. Yeah, handyman for her, on her body. Handyman for her he body. Going with some plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on. So what do you, he's no, really what do you, the one. What do you think she should do? Should she keep it up or let it go? If she she wants to keep it up. Because she's young and having fun, she can. But in the long run, that's going to hurt her. 
That's gonna hurt her so really bad. So what would you do? That's the question. I wouldn't even be involved in nothing like that. But okay, put yourself hypothetically. This, if this, I was you her, wrote this email. I mean, the, technically, that was her boyfriend before. So no, 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 no. I don't know. If this was me, I would get out of that. I would try to find somebody new, because. Then I would think in the back of my head, if he's cheating with me and he's in a relationship, even if we get back together, he's going to do the but same thing about, to me. Okay, think about it like this. You were with this guy for a long time. Years. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. So you would do no, it? No, 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 no. Just wait. You're with this guy. Sorry, I burped. You're with this guy for a while. You broke up. You guys still love each other. He still comes over. He helps you. You're like, babe, my tire is flat. Da, 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 da. I need you. Yeah, baby, I'm there. And then it gets heated, hot, and heavy. Bam, wham, right? It gets in a routine. Yeah. Because you never you broke up, but you didn't break at all. Yeah. So it's like technically y'all still like in limbo with your relationship. Yeah. But he fucked it up because he has a new girlfriend now. That's his that's his fault. He should have cut it off there. Yeah. So he's in the wrong because he obviously still in love with his first woman, this lady who sent the email. Yeah. But he also doesn't care about the first lady but either. But neither does this girl. So she's like, I'm losing my hand. I, do I lose my handyman and free from time to time? She can easily find herself another handyman. So what do we say to her? Girl, move on. If you want to survive and feel good but about yourself. She called herself Broco from the Broco. I thought she, that was her name. I thought that. she said Brooke Ho because it's spelled like H, like the fancy Ho. Oh well, Brooke. If Ho. you don't want to be hurt in the future, you need to cut this off now. I'm sorry, but if you all about YOLO, I'm living life. I'm young till I'm dumb. Do it, girl. But you are gonna be hurt. That's all I gotta okay, say. Okay, so you say let it go. Okay, you read the next one. Hold on. Okay, let me. I need to slow down. I'm eating. Too it fast. smells so eat. good. I hey, can't. it's your turn to eat. Because you know when I be getting in the zone when I eat food, I get a little ravenous. I know, I know. I know. So I just okay, gotta, okay. I gotta keep it cute. Wait, which one okay. are we reading now? Okay, you pick out of these. We we read help is gone. Okay. This one is called found my found my sneaky link cheating. Oh, we just my sneaky link. Down, 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 down. Okay, girl, so boom. He tells me to pull up, and I'm like, girl, hold on. What? This is how the story starts. <laughs> okay, girl, so boom. He tells me to pull up, and I'm like, girl, hold on. It took me like two hours to get cute because I was looking a hot mess. I know the feeling. But anyways, grabs purse. So when I get there, why I see another bee on his couch? He must have thought I wasn't going to come, but I did. Huh? What? <laughs> so there I am fighting with him, this bee and his fish. Huh? What is that? Is she calling him fish? Or is she calling her, her fishy, fishy smelling? <laughs> but I know I'm oh, not. Oh, this bitch and his fish. She calling what does her that mean? his fish. That's fucked oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like. I know I'm not supposed to have attachments to my sneaky link, but something about him is something else, honey. But yeah, I'm finna go to his house tonight. Anyways, I love y'all so much. Wish me luck. She seemed like she okay with it. Honestly, <laughs> she going back for more. How does that work when you have a sneaky link? Can somebody tell me? If it's a sneaky link, they don't cheat on you. What do you mean? Sneaky links don't cheat on each other because they were never in a relationship. So you can sleep with other people? Yes. That's why they're called sneaky oh. links. Oh. But some people blur the lines. Oh. So she saying, found my sneaky link cheating. You didn't find your sneaky link cheating. You yeah, because y'all aren't together. You found your sneaky link doing what single people do. Hmm. Damn. So, I mean, if she's fine with it, she she's going back to fine tonight, with it. Then it's cool. Yeah. But don't fight the girl on the couch. Yeah. If you're single, mm -hmm. right? Okay, okay. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, next uh -oh, story. Uh oh, uh oh. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, you know I love this good. because I'm Miss Detective. Mm. Here we go. Chloe is Miss Detective. Okay, she will find out whatever. 
Y'all need to have a sister like Chloe, detective sister. Anything I need to find out, anything Hallie needs to find out, I be doing my digging. And I will find it in 0.5 seconds. Yep. I will find out everything I need to know. Mm -hmm. So I feel sorry for whoever will be with me because I will yeah. find everything. I've never gone through a man's phone. I didn't have to go through none of that to find out what the tea is. Mm. It just comes. It just comes. That's right. Okay, Amen. Here we go. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Hallie. Love you both so dearly. I have a situation. After this one, we should do the video. With. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to talk to people. I have a certain situation going on in my life that I need you guys help with. So me and my high school sweetheart boyfriend of four years recently got into an argument because one of the girls from our high school has been texting him nonstop. Red fucking flag. Mm -mm. After we graduated three years ago. She has been texting him, wanting to go out to drink, play bowling, and just hang out with him. He refuses to block her number and tells me that I should trust him and stay calm. He does not let me see their text, but whenever I see her text pop up on his phone, his thumbs twiddle away. I need both of your help on what I should do. Love you both so much. Girl, you know what you should do. What? You said when you asked to see the messages, he says no? Red flag. Huh? What, what else did okay, she say he did? What should she do is the question. She needs to find this girl. She needs to find her and find out what the hell is going on. No. Don't talk to the girl though. But but she needs to look her on up on her socials. Look her up and see and see what's going on. Make a fake account. Look yep. at her story. See if she posting subs yep. or dinner dates yep. or posting his elbow or sneaker. Yep. Where she is. Okay, this is what I think. He's definitely cheating. Yeah. He's definitely cheating with her. Definitely. Let me tell you something. In front of your face, though. If, and he sees that the messages pop up. If a girl... Listen, we're, we're women. We know. We don't blow up a guy's phone. We don't FaceTime him back to back. We don't text him back to back if we don't think he's not going to respond. We are fragile creatures. And we don't handle rejection very well. Yep. So... If we feel comfortable enough to hit you back to back to back, that's because you're responding, you're responsive to it, He's and you're engaging. Yep. More than friendly. You are engaging back. Yep. After a certain, there is no woman that thirsty or desperate who is repeatedly messaging a guy and he's not responding. And if he's not blocking her, that's, okay, let, let me just say something. Let me just say, let me just say something. I will never tell the man I'm with to block a woman. Mm. I've never done that. I will never tell him to unfollow her. Explain the reasoning why. Why not? Because I don't need people on the outside seeing that I'm weak. Mm. Because if he blocks her, she will know that, A, either I'm sitting over here worried about her. Mm. Two, he's so enthralled and so in love with her that he has to block her so he can keep a straight head on. Mm. Nope. I will never give anyone that power. But so, I, what do you think if the man does that on his own, though? And it's like, I'm going to just block this person just so my girl feels comfortable. That's different. That's different. But if you have to go out of your way as a woman to be like, hey, babe, I need you to block this person. Yeah, something's wrong. If you got to tell, and, and then, gotta tell him to do that. And then they push back? Oh, oh hell no. no. Wrong. Girl. Something's going wrong. You need to find out. Anyways. ways. Anyways. Next. Which one should we read? Which one should Ariel read next, ladies and gentlemen? Because, <laughs> mm. girl, he cheating. That's all I'm going to say. He cheating. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Look, he is cheating. So I suggest you either stay in that and get a side piece or you walk away. Or walk away. That's good advice. Yes, we're going to be at Howard tomorrow, guys. So we to Should we talk about that really quick? No. No. Should we wait until the end? Okay. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. This one is subjective. Has the subject girl. 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 It says, so, y'all, why did me and my best friend have mm -mm, with the same guy? Mind you, 
I'm a guy, she's a girl. I finally opened up to her about the guy I've been seeing and she tells me she's been sleeping with him too? What do we do? Oh my gosh. If it's you and your best friend and y'all find out and you didn't know, I say walk away. But then would you I, be mad if your a, best friend stays with that guy and then the, what if they have a successful relationship and you're the first to dip out? But what if it's vice versa? If the other person dips out, then he goes with them? Well, let me tell you something. People can be so stupid sometimes. What guys don't understand, and this is me living as a single woman, <laughs> you don't know how many times a guy has been trying to talk to me and one of my friends at the same time. Mm. Speak on it. It's whoa, crazy. whoa, whoa, whoa. You know that what? was, hold on, hold on. That was major Tisha just there. Mm. You know when you are with somebody at the same time and you both get notifications back to back? No. P people will always find out. So just walk away. It'll just get messy. Especially girls. I feel like because... Well, on social media and stuff with girls we're all kind of like mutual friends or we know a girl who's friends with the girl like we all know each other right so if a guy is trying to be sneaky we're gonna find out really quickly I don't know if that works like in this industry like music industry entertainment industry that word gets around fast about you know everybody's with everybody, everybody. Okay, I don't know if that's about, that's how it works with y'all. If y'all in high school, wherever, I'm sure it's the same type of thing. But it's the same type of thing with entertainers too, right? So you find out people's teeth that you don't even you're not even looking for, right? So you got to be cautious. This, this wouldn't work too well for me. I'm rereading it. This wouldn't work too well for me. What would you do? I'd leave the person alone. Now. Sometimes that's easier said than done because what if they really putting it down? Yeah, what if what you if really, really like them? And then the you find out. But then I, you gotta let go of something you I really love. I would never liked? let a man ruin a friendship I have. Absolutely. And I also hope this person that they're both sleeping with is being honest. Yeah. Because how did they find out? Did he no, tell them? No, no, no. If he's single, he can do whatever. So he, but you being think that honest about his sexual preference, what he likes, he is messing with them together but do you think that he knew that they were friends because if so that's messed up listen when you're close with somebody you always be like oh yeah you know you be on facetime you know you be with facetime with the sneak link whatever you like oh yeah my friend such and such hit me up he knew he or she knew uh-uh that's cap if he said he didn't know that's cap that's true okay so everyone keeps asking what the email is to send stories to it's C H C X H. I can't talk. <laughs> it's C X H T Time Stories at, at gmail.com. Gmail so Doesn't it's sound like an ad. It does. So if you have a story that you would like us to read while we sit here and nibble on some food, send it to that email, okay? We will repeat it one more time. C X H T Time Stories at gmail.com. Right. Are you doing the video? Yeah, first? now we, we need to find emails? people. So who is brave enough to get on here and tell us one of your tea time stories? Uh, this one? Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. Oh. So don't request. Wait, wait, wait. First, you got to put it in the yeah. yeah comments. Don't request if you're not trying to get on here and tell us your drama and you need advice. You okay. got to put like a one like sentence description. Okay, we finna wait. It is giving wonder what she thinks of me tea, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm wet. Uh-oh. Somebody said she's the side chick. Hold on. Should I click that? Which one? That one? Okay, y'all, if you want to be in the thing, click, um, put your hand up or something. Give us a miniature description. Because 
because we gonna click on you and you're gonna have to talk. In the meantime, let's answer some of these questions. These are all the same damn questions. What are the, I can't read that. My eyes, I need my uh -oh. glasses. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What, what, uh -oh. what does that say? Oh. I don't want to touch that one today. <laughs> Man, these are some funny questions. You're going to have to choose because I'm going to be laughing too much. I don't know about that. Yeah, don't do that one. I don't need to get in mm -hmm. trouble now. Yeah. These are good. Okay, I'm just going to accept anybody, please. If I accept you, after you request to join, you better have some tea. Okay, which one looks promising? Let's do that, bro. Who? Oh, that's a someone else's face. I don't trust it. Oh. Oh. That one's okay. Why are y'all laughing at me? Why is it not connecting? Is it my phone? <laughs> Guys, I have the iPhone 10 still. Is it not connecting? Oh, is my just... stuff not updated? Did I not tap it right? Uh oh. No, it's not working. You with know my what? Phone. Oh no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try one more time. I don't think it works, huh? Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, back to the email. Well, yeah, it's not working. Sorry, y'all. We tried to add you guys. It's okay. Guess what? Sorry, it's my phone. I I need to update my phone. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. We got more. More and, emails. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Hi, Glenn Halley. So I've been with this guy for four and a half years. And I do love him. But he has bad oral hygiene. And no matter what I say, he won't brush his teeth. He says he does, but when he goes to kiss me, I smell it and turn my head. What do I do? Bad hygiene? Because she likes him. She's been with him for four and a half years and hasn't told him that he stinks? Oral huh? hygiene. Oral hygiene. Like his mouth stinks? His mouth stinks. Death is rotting on the inside of his stomach. You know what happens? Okay, this is a PSA. Me and Chloe are both vegan. But you know what happens when somebody's breath continuously really smells really bad? It means they have a problem in their tummy. In their body. Something their is guts. rotting in their gut. For four and a half years? He needs to see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some milk. <laughs> what? So how does she tell him? I'm the guy. You're the girl. Honey, I love you. Is everything but okay? What, what's going on? Something's been bothering me. Really? Oh my God. Something's been bothering me a really long time, and it's your breath. Hey, for four years. Hey. <laughs> for four years. Hey, I really think we should go to the doctor together and get it checked out. Because it could be something it could be something rotting in your gut. Babe. How? That's that's how you have to tell them. Just like that. Right? That's nice, right? Compassion. Someone says she needs some new. Mm. But I can't make out with a guy who's breasting. Yeah, no. Because, you know, that's you gross. And and touching and walking. You are, no, this is my favorite part. You all up in each other's face talking about, I love you, baby, I love you. You are giving the moan and all in each other's face, and you smell stank that's breath. That's so bad. That's so bad. Anyways. Okay. Next. This is my last bite, because I got to stop eating this. Huh? Oh, what is up with this hygiene? One more. Okay, this, this is one ain't more nothing. So basically, my coworker ass stinks so motherfucking bad. I thought I was tripping at first, so I had to pick something up next to her, and she bent over. What type of soap and spray should I get her? What? He said her ass stinks so bad. She. 
Is it a her? It's a she. With a friend who's a she? Who's her past co-worker state? stinks. She needs to, you know what she needs to do? Pull her to the side. When her birthday comes along, get her hygiene. Someone said how to eat all the food cool you need to interview. Yeah, please, please. I'm sorry. I'm literally, I can't stop, guys. I love Ethiopia. <laughs> she needs to, for her birthday, she needs to get her a gift basket of honey pot. Not birthday. Perfume. Not the birthday. Just be like, hey, girl. I had this laying around my house. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tell somebody that they stink? It's fine when you're like, um, no, when you know no, each other, no, it's no. easy and fine. This, this is what should happen. You know those like feminine wipes, you know, like the, the baby wipes or something and perfume. She should be in the office. She shouldn't be no, wiping no, her stink no, but with no, just baby wipes. No. That's not going to do nothing. No, this is how, I'm trying to tell you how to sell <laughs> her. When she walks to the bathroom, follow her. You see her get in the toilet, in the, you know, in the stall. She goes in the stall too. When she gets out, start spraying yourself with the perfume. Oh man, I smell fresh. Girl, you want some? Like that. Yeah, but perfume is only going to mask the smell. It's not going to... But that's a subtle way to give her the hint. Girl, we've been working all day. We stinking. Like, like make it a wee thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Make, make it, it a, a wee thing. thing. And be like, ooh, girl, I'm ooh. musty. Girl, ooh. are you musty too? Yeah, let's let's go, wait, wait, wait. Wait together. Yeah, like that. That's, that's it. Good. That's, that's good. good. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, that's bad. No, she yeah. needs advice. She needs advice. This is one where this, this is some sad. serious advice. Okay, hi, y'all. So about a week ago, you know, I sucked this boy in my basement after school. After a week goes by, I didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Then I get a word from my friend that he recorded me doing that to him, and it's in a group chat, and everyone saw How it. How did she not see that he was recording her, though? Some No, some people be putting home phones, inking all that stuff, right? This is what I would say. You think he snuck and put it up somewhere first? Regardless, he never got her permission yeah. to film her. I hope you're okay, number one, because no one should feel ashamed for what they do behind closed doors. Absolutely not. You young, have fun. Hello. I know this isn't something you want to go talk to your parents about. Maybe find someone who's older that you may trust and let them know so you can take proper action. Yeah, because, because you if you can, are underage, you can sue. Yeah. Yeah. So, not okay. So, yeah. I hope you're all right, sweetie. I hope you get some help with this. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay, listen oh, to this. Oh, wow. This is a good one. So says, hey, ladies, you both are so blessed and beautiful. Thank you. Okay. So at the end of Can't August... Can't wait break records and may at the movies? Yes. <laughs> okay. So at the end of August, my boyfriend of four years and I broke up. I was so upset that weekend I had my ex come over and we did the nasty. At the end of September, I found out I was pregnant. Problem is, I had... Mm -mm, with my boyfriend that Wednesday. Wait, problem is, I had mm -mm with my boyfriend that Wednesday. We broke up. And Thursday, I had mm -mm with my ex Saturday. I don't know what to do. Help. I don't want to be on the Maury show. Girl, you know what you guys do. You guys to get a paternity test. Let me tell you how to do it on the slide. I just made this up in my head as we were reading. Uh, but getting a paternity test on the slide? These are a few. These are a few solutions I just came up with. Now tell me if it's not realistic. Hand out, hang out with one of the men. Have him chew some bubble gum. You know, with all the saliva. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bubble gum. What? Make him not throw away the bubble gum. Swab that bubble gum with the saliva. Wait a minute, that's not gonna work. <laughs> the test is gonna come back. 
Invalid. What? Okay. You have uh, to do a full circle. Okay, small. I got another one. I got another one. Pretend like you're doing a damn COVID test, babe. We gotta make sure. That's a good idea. Be like, <laughs> be like oh my gosh, <laughs> babe. I'm not. We need right. to both get yeah, here. Swap in. They, this one's the mouth one. We don't have to put up the nose and put store that. Do it to both of them. So do you think that? Do it to both of them, and there you'll get your answers. Now, if neither is the baby father. I don't have no advice for you. <laughs> she says she only slept with them too. So hey, one of them has to be the baby father. That's true. Well, I think the COVID test is the best way. Yes. But you know what? I've seen a clip on TikTok of something. I think it was a Tyler Perry show, and it was funny because the baby. I think it's a new show. I gotta get it. I'm what show is it? It's some clip I saw on TikTok was good. But basically, the situation was. This man had this new girlfriend, and they were getting married or whatever, but he had a baby mama that was claiming that he had a child, right? And so she came over with the baby, and the girlfriend of the time was being so nice, but she was like, you're not doing a paternity test. You know this is your baby. But the girlfriend was being really nice. The was like, let me guy. hold him. Let me hold him. So while they were talking, the girl was holding him. Oh, cuckoo. Turn him in the round and swab his mouth. <laughs> And I said to myself, that would have been me. I would have been right up there. Uh, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I'm being honest, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's because we watched too much Maury or Fraternity Court, but I think, period, after the child is born, it should just be a mandatory paternity DNA test. Because, listen, you don't know what each person's genetic makeup is. You don't know if a child is in danger of some of the things that are passed on in your family when it comes to illnesses or sick or diseases or anything. Regardless whether it's, I don't know who I had sex with, I don't know who my baby father is, what the fuck ever. Because men can have sex with all these different women and it doesn't show on them. Mm -hmm. I have no judgment. Hey, if you want to be a freak, be a freak. But I yeah. think after every child is born, it should be a mandatory DNA test, not just to be like, oh, you the, these are the real parents. Yeah, like, just, oh, you are the father. Just, yeah. you know, I mean, hey, that's just what I think. Damn, all these emails are coming through? Ooh. Okay. No, that's, no, we read one like that. Oh, this is so sad. This says... <sighs> I have been hopelessly in love with my best friend for five years. I have watched that person fall in love with different people, knowing that it will never be me. I was there to be her shoulder to cry on, cheer her on in everything she pursues, and I would foolishly sacrifice my own happiness time and time again just to make her happy. Last year, I confessed my feelings, but it turns out she has a new boyfriend and doesn't feel the same way. Ever since then, our relationship has been strained, but I still miss her. She pretty much stopped talking to me, and that was the inevitable end of our friendship. My friends have been trying to get me to move on, but I have no idea how. Oh, how do you move on from the first person you've truly felt love for and someone you once considered an important part of your life? Oh, I've well, done it. Huh? I've done that. Oh. I've moved on from someone that I've loved. Oh, and how did you do that? I cried every day oh. till I stopped feeling the pain. Oh, don't say that. Chloe. <laughs> don't say that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that got really depressing. <laughs> That's sad. But this girl, the thing I think is wrong about her friend, though, is that she cut her off after that. <laughs> I don't think that's right because... But they didn't... They didn't... It just happened on its own. It wasn't like an abrupt thing. She got a boyfriend. He finally confessed his feelings. Let me tell you, you took too long to confess your feelings. Yeah. Because if you confessed and professed your love, 
while she was single, while she had no options, while she was chilling, maybe you would have had an option because she would have given you the light of day. But to come out to her and profess your love while she knows the person she wants to be with and is sure of it. That's true. You have no fight in the game. But it seems like the person who sent this email is a girl, right? And her best friend was a girl. But it seems like her best friend is not into girls. Her best friend's only dated guys. So, oh. so to me, if somebody were to confess their love to me and I'm not into that, I would just be like, you, I'm so sorry, but our, our friendship is still real. Yeah. I think that's wrong of her to be like, cut you off completely you know if they've been friends for years would you just would it be that easy to cut off like a friend for years well i mean think of it is like that this. weird think immediately it, think of it like this one of your good girlfriends is like hallie i'm in love with you you know like, that's so but, i mean that's but, so but, weird but you can't sit here and say you wouldn't be like well i'm in a relationship is it cheating if i engage with you like that absolutely okay so I don't blame the friend either. It just, there are two ships yeah, passing in the true. night. You're right. So just move on. That's true. You'll find somebody else. Right? Yeah. Oh, that was sad. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Huh? This is a good one. I think there was more than kissing. Yeah. Okay, listen to this. Hey, Chloe and Holly. So around April, me and this guy who I knew for a couple of years started to become friends. I started to catch feelings as we would talk in text, and I thought the feelings were mutual because he was very friendly. So fast forward a couple of weeks later, we link and walked around the park late at night and just sat and drove around the city. As we walked around the park, our conversations began to get deeper and we eventually kissed and everything was good until about a week later when we agreed to get a piercing together. That's serious. We arrived separate, but as I entered the shop, he's with his friends and is acting funny, like he couldn't speak or acknowledge me. Mind you, he's DL, so I don't know if he came out yet, but he's with his friends and he was acting real standoffish. Oh. So a day later, I texted him and confronted him, and I told him that he was acting freaked up and that he was wrong for leading me on, and he brushed it off and made it seem like I was over-exaggerating. Was I over-exaggerating, or were my feelings valid? Your feelings were absolutely, absolutely valid. valid. I'm, this is what I feel. Now, unless you're crazy, if you're feeling something, if you're feeling the sparks, eight times out of ten, the other person's feeling it as well. Yes, absolutely. The thing is, it's never our job to out somebody else. They have to do that on their own timing. So you can never force someone to feel comfortable enough to do that just because it's on your terms. Yeah, that's true. So you can't be unfair to that person because maybe they haven't gotten that self-confident to come out in that way like you have. So I say, if you really like the guy and he really likes you, maybe personally have a conversation. I feel like a therapist. <laughs> personally, Chloe would be a really good thing. You think so? Yeah. Or no, a nurse. I got, or I got nurse. some issues. Chloe yeah. would be such a good nurse. I would be a great nurse. Yeah. I, I would. But I say, you know, off the record, talk and say, hey, I know you're not comfortable, you know, being seen with me or anything like that but if we're going to continue our friendship i just ask that you don't make me feel less of a person you can still be cordial with me i'm not going to out you on my terms i'm not doing anything like that but what i would like you to do and you have to set boundaries i would like you to not make me feel less than when we are in public you can still be kind to me yeah now if he doesn't react well to that then it's on you at that point to decide if you want to move on or not. Yeah, because if he keeps treating you like that, every time y'all go out with his friends, is he's not the one. No. Move on. And then that's already a hard enough situation to, like, y'all be secretly kind of 
in love, having a great time, and then y'all get in front of your friends and you have to hide it, and then he's acting like a different person? That would make me mad. And never let somebody tell you more than once that they don't want you. Mm. And actually speak louder than words. Mm. Why are we seeing comments from the last stories? Do you see that? Chloe wanted to do this live on my phone. And I, mind you, I have an iPhone 10. So do I. Mine is old. <laughs> so we are seeing uh, comments. Have, we don't have iPhone 10. What do I have? Let's look. We have the same phone, sister. Which one do is I have? Is this the iPhone 10? That's 10. Let me look. Hold on. So hold on, hold on. I'm seeing, we're seeing comments from the past stuff. So hold sorry on. if we can't respond to y'all. It's my phone's fault. No, it's not. <laughs> Because guess what? It didn't go out on us. It's still That's true. live and well. Yeah. Okay, are we doing one more story? Yeah. Because I want some of that. And Peter, Peter, you want some after. Eat some nope. I'm eating, I'm eating after. Hold on. Oh, we got to read this. This is bad. Hey, y'all. So my baby is seven and a half months old and me and his dad aren't together. But mm -hmm. recently he told me his mom had cancer and he was going to her house to help her out and go shop for her and said she was fragile and insecure about losing hair, etc. I reached out to his mom to check on her and see if she wanted to see my son. And she was 100% confused at what I was talking about. It turns out my baby daddy was using this as an excuse to get out of keeping our child and lay up with another bitch. What should I do other than recommend a fucking therapist? So he lied on his mom? You better hope and pray his lying crazy ass traits didn't pass on to your child. Because that's some sick shit right there. He lied on his mom. He told his girlfriend that his mom had cancer. You don't play like that. You don't speak that out. You yeah, you don't even what? And then if you gonna lie, at least update your mama so she can be on the same time as you that's when the girlfriend calls. That's not even a lie that the mom can be in cahoots with the son and on. <laughs> if I was the mom, I'd be like, son, what the hell is this? <laughs> You can't come up with a, 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 a less lie. stressful lie. Yeah, then you're going to have to pretend you, you sick. You mm -hmm. can't play with stuff yeah. like that. That's terrible. That's bad. You can't play with stuff like that. You know how seriously I would have taken that? But Imagine. Can cancer runs heavy in our family. You yeah. can't play with stuff like that. Mm -mm. The hell is his problem? He's crazy. You need to stop talking to him. Oh, but that's her baby daddy. But she needs to stop trying to be with him. <laughs> okay. Man. This is another same story. <laughs> that's that's too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Wait. <laughs> okay. So, okay, this one. Hey, y'all. Okay. Oh, let's read it because this is a lot of in and out. Okay. So, back in my sophomore year of college. I had a friend that I had a crush on, but I thought he didn't like me. After several attempts of shooting my shot, I gave up and I started to date, to date another guy. The other guy and I dated for nearly four years and we recently broke up in June. Throughout our relationship, I still had a small crush on my friend and we kept in touch occasionally. My ex, my friend, and I have all hung out together on multiple, multiple occasions, but I never told my ex that I ever liked him. The day that we broke up, I bought a flight to see my friend. Oh, wow. I tried to shoot my shot again, and this time it worked. He said that he had a crush on me the same time I had a crush on him, but for some reason, we didn't communicate that well enough. We have now been in a relationship for two months. My friends think that I need to apologize for my, to my ex for never telling him I like my friend, but I think it's pointless now. My boyfriend and I have decided to keep our relationship private because we know we're going to hear backlash from our mutual friend group. Also, at the time of me visiting my current boyfriend, now back in July, he was messing with the girl for eight months, but he said they weren't official. So essentially, I was the other woman because she knew me as his friend as well. 
this is a very messy beginning to our love story, but I'm sure this will be my future husband. No, it won't, girl. It won't. Hey, how do you know that? This is not her future husband. He's playing games with her. And if she stays with him... Wait, 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 wait. He's playing games with no, her. No, she's playing games because she was the one in a four-year relationship and she had this man around her and her boyfriend That's knowing bad. she had feelings for him. This other man wasn't in a relationship. He said he was messing with a girl for eight months and they weren't official. The girl is in the wrong. Oh. But let me tell you something. I don't believe her talking about they didn't do nothing. While she's, she's lying. She's lying because she said he, she's contradicting herself because of the end. Look what she says. Essentially, I was the other woman because she knew me as his friend as well. So she knew this other girl and would be in her face pretending to be his friend? And she knew they were doing stuff. Oh, wow. She yeah, knew they were wrong. doing stuff that would make her the other woman, not just friends who had she's, crushes on each other. dead wrong. Uh -uh, girl. Abort. Girl, you Abort. dead Abort. wrong. Abort. Goodbye, good night, see you later. Abort. You're wrong. Messy love story. He's not your future husband. I agree, because Karma gonna eat your ass. Yes, up. girl. No. What the hell? <laughs> That's why your friends think you should tell the ex. Yeah. That you were, because you were messing, messing with around. The but listen, hey, I'm gonna say this. Who knows with what your ex was doing behind closed doors? He might have had other side pieces too. But what if so he you did? know what? What if he didn't? They were together for four years. But what if he did? Because she obviously did. What she nigga? was in, what? in plain sight what? with the friend. Like she had her side nigga and her main nigga going out on double dates. That's crazy. Uh -uh. Now you got some balls, girl. That's Ooh. crazy. Hey, I ain't mad at it. What I the fuck is that? That's not true. Wait. Next. Hold on. I'm looking that up. <laughs> Somebody just emailed uh, some Tisha. What? Is that? Uh uh. That's some fake. <laughs> what? I was ready I for it. Juicy. Too. Some juicy tea. Okay. Um. Was that the last one? I think so. Are we doing one more? Should we do one more? Yeah. Okay. Look at uh -oh. this. I'm reading this one right now. <gasps> this is one? so bad. It's a good one? It's a good one? Yeah. Okay, read it. It's kind of all over the place. But kind of, I didn't read it. My ex and I were together for six years. I went to 42 weeks. Wait a minute. Huh? So she was What's pregnant. pregnant. Okay. My ex and I were together for six years. I went to 42 weeks and got induced and had to have a C-section with my daughter, Troy. Three weeks after I had her, he accused me of cheating. And I told him if he wanted to argue, he could just go to the living room and argue with himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that. I know that's right. Don't argue with yourself. Yep. Talk go to the, the wall. Go argue in the with the other wall. room and argue with yourself since you want to hear yourself yep. talk so bad. Yep. That's what I'm going to say. Watch. Um, so he could argue with himself. He came back and turned off the lights and TV on me while I was pulling. So I told him, just go. He came back and said he was sorry. I didn't want to hear it. <laughs> I was already mad and didn't want to say something out of anger. So I said, just sleep in the living room. We would talk later. The next day, he went to work and didn't come back. Oh, because he went to the other lady's house. I called him. No answer. I texted him. And he told me he wasn't coming back and would follow the proper process to get back to her. He already had a side piece on standby. Wow. I texted his mom. She blocked me. What? The mom blocked you? She blocked me and got her husband to text me saying they couldn't make him come back and maybe we should seek counseling. At that point, it wasn't about the relationship with the baby. I made it known I still wanted him to be in her life and he could come visit every day and be a part of her routine, but he refused because we could get into an argument and the police could get called. He told me he would see her at the mall. He huh? told her he would see his, his baby at, at the mall? mall? Wow. Wow. I entertained it for two weeks, 
Then I was done with it as I breastfed and it's so much work for mall visits. So then he didn't see her for months. I got served with joint custody papers and she's now five months. He was court ordered to have visitation with his mother or sister, but at this point she doesn't even know them and screams and cries the entire two hours. I offered from the beginning for them to have a relationship, but they make it seem like I've been the problem the entire time. Going through postpartum and being left like that really made me look at everyone differently because no one reached out or even made sure her and I were okay at all. This is depressing. I'm trying to keep her in my best interest, but are they really worried about her best interest or were they more worried about how they negatively felt about me? I don't think when you become a parent or grandparent to a baby, that's how family should be. It's really sad. I'll fear it'll be like this forever. Damn. That's a really hard situation to go through. Let me tell you something. When he was accusing her of cheating and that the baby was another guy's was because he knew he already had another lady and he was projecting. And he was cheating. That's what a lot of cheaters do. They will project just so they feel less guilty because yeah. that's how they justified in their mind. They're like, oh yeah, you're fucking around. So I, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, exactly. Let me tell you something. You be the best mother you can to that beautiful angel on earth. Mm. And if they don't want to be in her life, fuck them. Freak them. Because you know what? Sorry. That baby loves you. That baby is connected to you as the mother. And you they left you for dead, but that's okay. Because you got your beautiful baby. And y'all will be okay. Why Anyways. are people so horrible? What? People are so mean. Are you reading comments? No, I'm not reading comments. I'm talking about that story. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, it's just... That's bad. Especially when the family starts getting on her when she just had a child and postpartum and stuff. That's bad. Mm -mm. But you know what? Especially what I'm learning right now, you have to protect your peace. You have to protect your peace. And something I'm learning... You can't expect people to have the same heart and the same intentions that you have. Yeah. So you raise that child the best possible way. Teach her to be kind and loving. And whoever say you meet somebody else, say she is a great stepfather, even if the father comes back in her life, you just raise her so that she knows as long as she loves herself and she knows she has a mom who loves her, she'll be okay. And nothing will take away her self-worth. Amen. On that sad note, should we answer a funny question or something? Because that really sad. made me sad. Damn. How do we see the questions? Why are they asking us like we know? Um. Oh, this heat feels great. Probably blasted the heat in her room. Yeah. Oh, this uh -oh. is a good question. Chloe? You have the floor. Why was Drewski's name saved on my phone like that? <laughs> Explain. Well, I like putting emojis by people's names. Okay. All right, that man is funny. That's all I got to say. I ask myself why we can be closer. I'm excited. First of all, wait, we need to plug that. For the night, everyone. Music video out. 10-24, right? 28. 28. For the night, music video out. 10-28. Run it up. Boy, you just my sneaky link. All right, what is another question? You got to end on a funny one. Um, oh, this is a good one. Top three from Renaissance. Church girl. Break my soul. Energy. Alien superstar. Yep. That's that technique. Um, That's yeah. that jelly, baby. Oh, did I mix two songs together? That's that. No, thing. that's right. Can I mix two songs. I don't know, but I like them all. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, 
Talk about your braids. Hallie. Hallie, why did you get rid of your locks? Well, I was tired of them. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, for the last time, I did not get rid of my locks, okay? No, we, like, we like to switch it up. Show your beautiful hair. I don't know if you could see, but my lock is under there. All the lighter uh, little pieces is my actual lock, okay? It was done by Amazing Summer. Shout out to Summer if you're watching this. She braided each one of these over my locks and made them cute and long. And I've had them for like a week and a half now or two weeks. And I really like them. And I washed my scalp last night because my scalp was getting dirty and flaky. Look at my hang time. Yeah. So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's the look for now. And I might take them out of, in a few weeks. But this was a good switch up because... I love them. Thank you. I because you I've been trying them. to figure out different things to do. We both do. Look at Chloe's beautiful hair. It's the honey color because the bleach blonde was very harsh for Have Mercy, but it was fitting for the era. And now this is a little more subtle, right? Okay. Last question. And then we got to watch some divorce court because yeah. I want to watch the episode before I go to bed. Me too. Which one should we answer? I need to call my boo. Oh, let's talk about that. Hallie, how are you? Yes. Feeling. Boot up, boot up. Y'all, I'm just very, um. <laughs> what? Uh oh. She blushing. No, Whoa. I'm not. I'm Ladies not. Ladies and gentlemen, the black girl is turning red. No. I'm the not. black girl is turning red. You see her cheeks. No. You see her face. Am I tripping? Move your hands. I'm not turning red. I'm just yes, she is. no. My undertone is just orange. Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm Buddha. I'm happy as can be, living my best life. Living my best life. That's I ain't like going back and forth with you, niggas. I'm living my best life. Yeah. I'm okay. going back and forth with you. Uh, that's me. This is me. I'm F R E E foot nigga free. I ain't worried about no. Look, nigga, cheat, and I'm S I N G L E again. Hanging out the window, the window, window with my I should ask friends. Let's I go. love her on the headlight. She is so like, Glorilla is so good. I love her. Okay, is there a last question or anything you see or something you want? Should we talk about um, oh, tomorrow? We've been here for an hour. Should we talk about tomorrow? We didn't talk about it. I think we should. So maybe we'll end on that. So y'all, we are in D.C. We're going to Howard tomorrow. We'll be there for homecoming. But no, we are not performing. performing. We're not. So don't worry. We're just going to be there. We're, we're hosting a game show. Yeah. We're hosting a game show. We're going to be talking about skin and all things skin. And the with tea. Neutrogena and the tea. So come hang with us. We're going to be out there hanging out. It's going to be fun. Okay. Mm. You think we're going to see some cuties? Well, they're going to be younger than me. No, they won't. You think we're going to see some cute You will. Toys? You will. Hey, you want to invite me to some college party? So all the Howard guys. No, 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 no. This is Chloe no. might be no, looking. No, that's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining us for this tea time. This was fun. <laughs> We had love this together in the same place. Wait, so I'm pulling long. up the worst court. Not now. Okay, bye, guys. Okay, bye-bye. How do I turn it off? I think, can you help? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay.